Hello and welcome to Storytime at the Campbell County Public Library. I'm Miss Darcy. I have another digital story time for you. So parents and caregivers, if you're listening, go grab your kids. We're going to start story time in just a minute. Um, while you're getting your kids together, I want you to know that we are still working in the library, making books available and resources available to you. You can find our books in a couple of different ways. You can access our website, ccpls.org, and place holds on books. And then those will be available for curbside delivery for you in 24 hours. Or if you'd like us to choose books for you, you can go to, uh, you can call us, excuse me, at the children's desk, 687-9225 and we will put together a collection of books for your kids and then again you can pick up those grab bags the next day in 24 hours um, outside with our curbside delivery service so we're doing our very very best to get um, books in the hands of your kids and to create content i hope you've liked our campbell county public library facebook page so that you can see all of the fun services and things that we're doing um, for kids and for teens and for adults here at the library Okay, so let's start story time. Now, today I have a little different story to share with you. You might be familiar with an old folk tale about three billy goats, a small one, a medium-sized one, and a big billy goat. And they wanted to eat the green grass that was coming in the spring. The problem was the grass was across the river and they had to cross a bridge to get to it. And under the bridge lived a very mean troll. Do you know that story? Well, I have a little different version of that story for you today. I thought it would be fun to play with some words in Spanish and English, and so I am going to use a story that's based on a book called The Three Cabritos. Cabritos means little goats, and it is written by Eric Kimmel and illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. Mr. Kimmel gave us permission to use an adaptation of his story, so we're very grateful for that. This is the story of Los Tres Cabritos. Once upon a time, there lived Tres Cabritos. The three Cabritos loved to play music. Reynaldo, the smallest and the youngest, liked to play the fiddle. Orlando, the middle one, toca la guitarra. He liked to play the guitar. And Augustine, the oldest, played the accordion. One day, Los Tres Cabritos heard that there was going to be a big fiesta just across the border in Mexico. Vamos, Los Tres Cabritos said. There will be singing and dancing and good food to eat. Pero there was just one problem they had to cross the bridge across the Rio Grande to get into Mexico. And under that bridge lived Pachupacabra, the goat gobbler. The three cabritos looked at each other and said, we're not afraid of the Chupacabra. And bravely, they started out for the fiesta. Reynaldo, the littlest, walked the fastest and arrived at the bridge first. Crick, crack, crick, crack, crick, crack, went his hooves over the little bridge. And suddenly he was halfway across when out jumped the chupacabra. Buenos dias, cabrito. I am going to eat you up. Oh, por favor, no me comes, Reynaldo pleaded. I am so small and thin. My older brother, Orlando, is right behind me. Es más grande que yo. He is much bigger than I, and he'll make a much meatier meal. Let me go, Señor Chupacabra, por favor. Oh, growled Chupacabra. What is that you're carrying? My fiddle, replied Reynaldo. Play a tune for me then, and if I like it, I'll let you go and eat your brother instead. Gracias, Señor Chupacabro. 
Reynaldo began to play. Chupacabra danced and danced, baile y baile. And when he was tired out, he growled, basta, you can cross. Reynaldo ran as fast as he could and didn't stop until he was well into Mexico. Orlando came to the bridge. Crick, crack, crick, crack went his hips over the bridge. And as he crossed, out jumped Chupacabra. Buenos dias, cabrito. Voy a comerte. I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, don't do that, Senor Chupacabra. I'm so skinny and weak. Wait for my older brother, Augustine. He is coming right behind me. He is big and strong, as grande y fuerte, and will make a much meatier meal than me. Let me go, por favor. Oh, toca su guitarra, play your guitar for me, and if I like it, I'll let you go and eat your brother instead. Gracias, Senor Chupacabra. Orlando played and played, and Chupacabra twirled and danced and hopped and finally said, Basta! You can go. Orlando ran across the bridge as fast as he could and didn't stop until he was in Mexico. Augustine, the last and the biggest of the three cabritos, arrived at the bridge. Crick, crack, crick, crack, and up jumped Chupacabra. Buenos dias, cabrito. I'm going to gobble you up. We'll see about that, said, August, said Augustine. I'm much bigger and stronger than my brothers. Ah, you're no bigger and stronger than me, growled Chupacabra. You're right. You'll eat me no matter what I do. May I ask one last favor, por favor? Let me play my accordion one last time, and then you can gobble me up. Bien, cabrito, play, and when you're done, I'll eat you. Augustine played, toca y toca y toca, and Chupacabra danced and leaped and hopped and twirled, pranced and twisted from one end of the bridge to the other. At last, exhausted, he cried out, basta, stop playing. <gasps> No, muy, no puedo bailar más. I can't dance anymore. I'm not tired at all, said Augustine. And Augustine kept playing. Faster and faster he played. Chupacabra whirled around and around and around. The music was magic and he couldn't stop dancing. His face turned red. His eyes bulged and smoke came out of his ears. Por favor, cabrito, no más. It will be the end of me. Is, is that so? Then I'll keep playing. And Augustine played even faster than before. Ay! Chupacabra fell down. And right before Augustine's eyes, the Chupacabra shriveled up and grew smaller and smaller. Mas pequeño y mas pequeño. Just like a punctured balloon. And he was so small. He was so small, he blew right off the bridge. Crick, crack, crick, crack, Augustine crossed the bridge over into Mexico. The three cabritos played all night long at the fiesta. In the morning, they went back home and crossed the bridge together. No one had to worry about Chupacabra anymore. Or so they say. Still, as for me, when I cross that bridge to Mexico, I make sure to carry my harmonica, just in case. And that was an adaptation of Los Tres Cabritos, The Three Cabritos by Eric Kimmel. We are thankful to him for his permission to use that story. I hope you're staying well and staying safe. And we hope to see you here at the library again very, very soon. Have a great day.